Greetings, users, and welcome to a presentation on Designed and Analysis of Wastewater Treatment Plant using GPS-6 software. The contents of the presentation are as follows. Abstract, aim and objective, methodology, results, conclusion, and references. Abstract. Wastewater treatment is a process used to remove contaminants from wastewater such that the effluent can be, uh, can be returned to the water cycle with acceptable impact on the environment or reused for various domestic purposes. The sewage treatment plant design process is a theoretical process and thus lacks methods to test the design and identify its flaws that might show up in the practical execution of the design. Dynamic modeling and simulation softwares can help bridge this gap by performing computer-aided simulations of the sewage treatment process. The project aims to demonstrate the use of such a software known as GPSX that can help make this process economical and convenient. The research aims to do this by upgrading an existing STP in Virar by modifying its components and analyzing it using the GPSX software. Aim. The aim of this research work is to use dynamic modeling and simulation software for the analysis and design of an sewage treatment plant. The objective of this project are as follows. To make use of the dynamic modeling and simulation softwares in the design of an STP, to ensure the effectiveness of simulation software in design of the STP, to design an efficient STP for the same influent characteristics as, as, as the existing one, and to compare the efficiency of the already existing STP with the modified one. Methodology. A proper research methodology was followed during the execution of this project. The methodology is as follows. Collection of influent data. Water quality data of the influent was obtained across five quality parameters through testing as per the IS3025 standards. The parameters tested were TSS, DOD, COD, DO, and TH. 15 readings were acquired in the data across a span of 45 days. Design of the modified STP. Next, a modified STP was designed with reference to the Virar STP, such that it can treat the influent water coming into the Virar STP, but with a higher efficiency. The design was modified by upgrading and substitution of original components by similar but more potent components. The design was prepared with the help of STP design guides available online and through research literatures available on the designing of an STP. Next, the comparison of the STPs was done. The output results of the efferent characteristics of the modified STP were obtained by modeling and simulating the design in the GPSX software. The effluent data obtained was then compared with the effluent data of the original STP for the water quality parameters mentioned before. The water quality parameters tested were TSS, DOD, COD, DO, and PH. As you can see, this is the comparison between the components of the Virar STP and the modified STP, which was designed by us. The primary treatment was kept as it is, and the secondary treatment was uh, added. The secondary treatment was improved by addition of the trickling filter, a chemical dosage unit, a better MBBR, and a circular clarifier tank. The tertiary treatment was replaced with a disinfection tank in place of the chlorine contact tank, and the thickening and dewatering unit was kept the same. This is the flowchart of the Virar STP, which was the original existing STP. As you can see, the flow of the treatment starts from the effluent and ends with the sludge removal and effluent, with the secondary and tertiary treatment units coming in between. This is the flowchart of modified STP and which was modeled in the GPSX software. As you can see, there is an addition of the trickling filter, chemical dosage unit, and a circular clarifier tank, as shown in the diagram before. Dimensions. By using various literature reviews and STP guide designs, we uh, we decided the dimensions. We calculated the dimensions of the modified STP. We can see that the grid chamber, equalization tank, trickling filter, MBBR, circular clarifier, disinfection tank, thickening and dewatering unit have the following dimensions. Next slide. Results. After the design and the simulation of the modified STP, the obtained output results of various important parameters like TSS, 
BOD, COD, DO, and PH were compared with the actual result data of the Virar STP. The table on the left hand side shows the input values which are to be provided by the user. The input values were obtained by the data acquired through the wastewater sampling. The table on the right hand side shows the output results obtained on running the simulation on the GPSX software. Next slide. On simulation of the modified STP design in the GPSX software, it was observed that the modified design offered a greater reduction in TSS, BOD, and pH, and increase in the DO of the effluent water. We can see from the table that the TSS has significantly reduced from 10 in the Virar STP to 5.97 to the modified STP. In the BO similarly, the BOD has reduced from 5 to 1.14 mg per liter, and COD has reduced from 21 to 8.11 mg per liter. Also, the DO has increased from 4.1, 4.4 to 5 mg per liter. These all are these all are the indicators of an efficiently working STP. Next slide. This is the screen recording of how the simulation is actually carried out in the GPSX software. The user has used the slider button to set the infant flow load to 12 ml. Similar, similarly, slider buttons are provided for, set, for setting the infant values like CO, COD, DO, pH, etc. We can keep the duration of the working of the plant according to our convenience. Here we have kept it for 24 hours, that is one day. The simulation is then carried out. On the right hand side, we can see the input and output results. The values are then displayed on the completion of the simulation. We can see that the values are obtained once the simulation is completed. Next slide. Conclusion. The GPSX, the GPSX software has been used for the simulation of the STP design and from the obtained results, it can be concluded that the modified design gives better effluent water quality as compared to the existing STP. From the above results, it can be concluded that the water the water quality of the modified design is safe for disposal into the environment. This improvement can be attributed to the addition of components, namely trickling filter, circular clarifier, and disinfection tank. Next slide. These are the references which we used while uh, completing the entire research work. Next slide. Thank you.